Today I'm showing you how to make roasted chestnuts without the open fire. First things first, when you're buying chestnuts, you want the ones that are heavy for their size. And when you press a finger into the outer shell, it shouldn't have any give. Something like this here is okay, but not ideal because as you can see, the shell dents inwards a bit. You also want to make sure to discard any chestnuts with holes or cracks in them. Now onto the prep. Place the chestnuts flat side down and slice open the shell along the bottom third of the nut. This is just so the steam can escape from the shells while they're baking and they don't explode. Once the chestnuts have all been scored, cover them with water and leave them to soak for an hour. Once the hour has elapsed, drain the chestnuts and pat them dry with a cloth. Get them onto a baking sheet, turning them so the scored side of the nut is facing upwards. Bake in an oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. The shells will sort of burst open a bit and pull back slightly and the chestnuts will smell really nice and toasted when they're cooked. Once ready, remove them from the oven and leave them to cool slightly for a couple of minutes before peeling. Don't leave them for more than a few minutes as you do still want to peel these while they're warm. It makes peeling them much, much easier. You can eat the chestnuts like this or slice them up and use them as a topping for flatbreads or salads. Roasted chestnuts have a really lovely sweet, buttery, toasted flavor with a fairly soft texture, almost like a dried fig. Another really nice way to serve these is to get a little bit of butter in a pan. Then add in your chestnuts, toss those around for a couple of minutes. Add a bit of salt and serve. Served this way, the chestnuts taste a little bit like popcorn. If you haven't tried making these before, give it a go. It's pretty easy and kind of a fun thing to do around the holidays. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, consider subscribing, hitting the bell notification button, and connecting with us on Instagram at chefstudio underscore.